Hello, everybody. This is Milky, and I'm really excited to share another first impression video with you. And the game we're covering today is the the Ateria Dusk Trilogy Deluxe Pack Switch version. And you probably already know I'm a big simulation game fan, so I'm so excited for this release. I heard compared to the original game, this release has better graphic, newly added features, and added a lot of additional DLC content. So it's not just a simple port to different platforms, which is great. I've never played the original game series, so this is going to be both new and exciting for me, and I definitely hope you will enjoy it. So let's get started! Yay! We finally see our main character after the long intro animation, and the animation is about this uh, old gentleman we saw that's visiting a land where it hasn't grown too much things, and there's this nice little girl who is managing a medicine shop all by herself, and she happens to be our main character, Aisha. And here, she, here she is mixing the powder. Oh, her her animation actually looks pretty good. She's so cute. I love her dress. And when the liquid turns to a golden color, then oh, what's that sound? There's something that's making an oink sound. I wonder. That must be a little piggy. And he says, "Oh, sorry, Panna. I forgot to give you the breakfast." Oh, I don't know. She's doing pr a pretty good job voice acting, and her voice acting is so good that I almost feel bad trying to voice acting her. And here's Panna. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, Panna, for calling you a pig. It's obviously not a Here. pig, and uh, sorry I don't know. It's uh, almost a cow Chewing and the bear fuzzy thing. It looks so it's cute. So to eat so <laughs> and then we're feeding the food, and we're just this little girl <sighs> in this so uh, nice beautiful mountain that. and. Just chilling, have a relaxing life. This isn't good. Aww, I love it. And then Aisha is like, What should I eat? It's not too late for breakfast, but maybe I better combine it with lunch. And we're going to have a brunch. Aww, what a chilled life we're living in. Oh gosh, our main character is so funny. She said, Well, she's synthesizing while eating, and it seems like it's about to explode. Oh no. And the medicine is starting to turn gold, and she needs to treat, neutralize it, but she lost on the things she needs to put in. And Aaron's like, Arisha, hurry! I don't think it's supposed to smell like that. Oh no, that's so scary. <laughs> Phew, we finally solved that medicine danger and we were able to successfully make the medicine. But before we make the next medicine for our customer, we actually need to go outside and grab some ingredients. And this is probably our little tutorial section. Yay, we can finally start walking around and I have to say for a game that's released 8 years ago, Mewi is actually really impressed with the graphic. It still looks kinda cute and uh, I really like how the character moves around and how her hair moves, I love it. And our first tag is Task is going to our garden and go visit, uh, collect some materials for our synergizing. So let's get out of here. It's a little bit weird that we can't see our door, but so far so good. And the loading time is really short. Wow, even the outside. Well, mm, I have to say the flower looks a little bit, mm, but that's normal. It's probably because Miyuki just played and played it the newest Ulterior series, and it was just absolutely stunning. But each game has its own charm. And here's our outside. It does feel a little bit weird that we can't turn our camera around. Maybe we'll learn it later, but so far we can just run it around in our little yard, which is pretty pretty beautiful and peaceful in its own sense. And we can run around gathering materials, and I think here's a little bit of materials here. And we probably get it a lot. Oh, that's all the materials. Okay. Mm, and then we triggered another enough. animation. So when we enter a specific cutscene, like the character you, looks pretty nice. I love all the details. Synthesis. And here's our synergizing menu, and this is a core feature of all the ulterior games, and we need to synergizing things. All we need to do is select what we want to synergize, and it needs some herb, which we just pick up, the oil, and just put the plants in. Okay. So far, so good, and we just synergize it. On the left side, we can see the quality and the other things, and then we can choose how many should I use. Um, I think we can just make one, and synergize! 
Oh, and we got a little bit score. And I love how she was humming a little bit while we're synergizing. That's just so cool. And then that's the synergizing. So far, so good. Yay, it's done. Now it's finished, and we got the recipe for other people. And we actually already alchemy level five. Wow, that's so fast. <laughs> what happened to level one, two, three, four? We we just leveled up so fast. But I like it's this uh, little introduction. Go, it's a pretty easy system. Probably will get more complicated as we I level up. Now, after the cutscene, if you get a little bit lost about what, should, what you need to do, all we need to do is check out our goal list. And today is Neo's birthday, so we need to get some candies and deliver it to her. Before we go, I think we can check out our room and the safe system. So here we can save, and as usual, we have a dress room. I love it. I wonder do we already have a new dress or not? And then, I'm uh, not sure how many save files we got. We'll probably find out that find that out soon. Oh, but unfortunately, Milky can't scroll down and uh, select dress room yet. Maybe, maybe we need to go a little bit further in order for that. And then let's go outside and deliver this beautiful candy to our Neo. Well, here's the run to the town, and I just want to share this trip with you guys because it's probably going to be pretty beautiful. So we're going to the world map. And then, oh, <laughs> the world map is a little bit underwhelming, but that's okay. Oh, I was hoping that we could run around in the forest to the to the town, but it seems like we are just going to travel through the world map, and that's totally okay. And it just causes our one day. Oh, but it it, it does feel like a really old timey world map. And, and here's a little abandoned. another cutscene. It is now a oh, wow, paradise. that is our ruin. Despite the course of human history, wow, it looks so beautiful. To the ruin. On this place. So this is oh, this is not the ruin. It's an of herb course, garden. Now is no I different. love it. And dun, 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 dun. here's the entry to this uh, to this garden, and it just looks so beautiful. I love it. It does have a really grand entry feeling, doesn't it? The architecture of this game is actually really well done, and uh, we can hold L for like jumping and uh, and running around. Wow, even inside looks pretty beautiful. I wonder if there's anything that we could gather on our way there. And uh, we can even see that the sky up there is so beautiful. Oops, I I'm just so used to turning the camera around, so Milky keeps trying to move the camera, but. Oops, forgot that we can't do it. And here's the herb garden. Oh, I didn't know that we also take our little animal friend with us. And then here, oh, here's it. We're under this magical Good place. Morning, Neil. Sorry, I'm a little late. Oh, unfortunately, Aisha is just talking to the stone because her friend Neil disappeared a few years ago while collecting herbs here. I've Hopefully, she's not really dead, and that we will meet her later home. in the game. I feel so sad about it. And uh, sh oh, and uh, apparently this ruin sometimes swallow but people why did up. To happen to you? But oh, why did I poor ask Aisha. You to help me gather medicinal herbs? And she's the one who Where asked Neil to do that. <laughs> Oh, even our little animal friend is sad. Well, hopefully, um, Aisha is not going to get get into danger by hanging around in the ruin. Oh, she looks so sad. Oh wow! When we are about to leave, we suddenly hear a voice, and it says, "Sister, <gasps> could it be? Could it be our sister's spirit is actually here?" Oh wow! And our sister is also really cute. I love all the characters' clothes in this game. They're just so cute. And she looks a little bit lost. And then Neo? That's actually Neo. And Aisha thought it was a dream, but it's not, and then Neo is really surprised. But she seems to be in a spirit more oh. form and uh, her spirit just disappeared. Oh I wonder what happened. I, I was I saw they were she about to meet again, but she just disappeared. Neo? I wonder what she's probably going to be the main girl that's going to drift the driven the story and uh, hopefully we can help uh, Aisha to meet her sister eventually. And the mysterious man show up and told us Your that in order to find Aisha's sister, we need to learn alchemy and we need to learn what does this magical glowing flower do. Oh, and uh, maybe after we learned all Welcome. that, we could uh, finally see our sister again. Well, Elsa's, Elsa's sister. I'm just uh, so 
so easily get involved and thinking that we're the main character and exploring the world with her. Well, as our main character, Aisha, who's such a nice girl, decided to go on travel to the neighboring city and finally going out of the town to seek the information about alchemy and about the glowing flower in order to save the sister. Aww, it's such a sweet original story. Well, Milky is on our way to go to the next village, but uh, during the trip, we meet something that's really interesting. What is this? <laughs> it's almost like a, an animal that's holding Kappa Joe. Well, this is a joke that could probably only be understand of our Harvest Moon fans. Oh, it looks so cute though. It's like a, almost a bad looking thing. Oh, and we need to do some fighting training. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, Milky just beat that animal too fast <laughs> before I even ready to show you guys the fighting. So I will definitely have, we will definitely have another chance to show you guys the fighting scene. And uh, it's so far, it's been pretty fun, and I like it. And we finally reached the next village, which is uh, on a hill that's gonna look pretty cool. Oh, and uh, who's here to meet us? Oh wow, here's another cute character. That's so nice. I love her hairstyle. It's almost Milky color. And her name is Regina. Wow, it's apparently being our friend. Well, our super nice friend offered us to stay at her place where we're figuring stuff out because for now, our main character still don't know where are we going to visit or what are the things that we're going to do. So we're just going to visit this uh, town, explore a little bit and probably go on an even a further journey Blonde, far far away and we just keep meeting cute characters in this game and here's another I character nice who was trying to get into the room but uh, she was stopped by our panna who was uh, really attracted by the I sweet grass oh no that's so how cute i wonder how why our happen. character could go into the room ruin is probably because she need to collect medicines but it seems like this man won't let weak girls go into the mine that's so mean now Milky is just exploring the town a little bit with Aisha and uh, it's funny how a lot of the punk people is saying this village have not having anything and it's small and all that everybody seems to think this village is rather poor and it seems like it's a build on top of a stone hill so there's not much happening and you can see there's barely any grass I wonder how people keep themselves alive here and uh, he said I'm fine no matter how high it is as long as don't, I don't look down oh he's probably scared oh and it's, it's funny how we get memory points by just talking to people well we're gonna explore this town a little bit and uh, probably until we trigger the next thing well I think we got lost we could just read our goal and uh, apparently our current goal was just talking to the villagers to find out who knows anything about the glowing flower <laughs> after traveling around the town we finally reached uh, Regina's house and it's so funny our okay, main character actually that. also I'm carried her candron around so well she left the giant pot in her friend's house and sure apparently like because we bring our pot we can do some synergizing together wow that's I'm a lot to travel to poor hannah for carrying all that stuff and let's walk around in our new big sister's place apparently aisha just moved all her stuff here and she can join our party now um but i don't know how to ask her to join our party yet and we can even write our diary here what's more is we can accessing our dressing room yay that's my favorite part apparently we have two more dresses here oh <laughs> we have two spring suits i think just one swing suit and another one that's so cute well, I think I'm going to yep, stick, stick, our, stick with our starting dress just because it's so cute. We can also yep, get other bands. <gasps> I like the flower bands. Oh, this is just so cute. I want. We must be able to collect more stuff uh, while once we're on our trip and uh, collecting more stuff. We can even get other stuff on our facial, accessory facial. I love it. While talking to Regina, we find out there might be more information about the glowing flower in another town. And that town is definitely super far away with our current town. So I wonder, are we going to travel all the way or probably slowly? And the Milky is kind of curious is whether we can travel to other interesting places. 
Ah, I see. So once we select the destination, it seems like we will we will automatically um visit some interesting places on our way and do some synergizing and some fighting. So it's almost like a really fun exploration. I love that. Oh, it's so funny. Here's another bat again. Well, I missed the chance to show you guys the fighting last time, so I definitely want to show you guys this time. And this time, our awesome big sister Regina is going to join us. So here's our battle scene and we can start with moving or attack So I want to show you guys how we attack and I'm going to attack that one that's attacking our big sister And so far Aisha has been pretty weak and uh, we probably could need our friend's support And oh wow it's so cool that she will come in front of us and support us Well I actually don't think we need the support and uh, oh no she took the damage for us but we didn't do it for her and uh, I think the big sister actually has a, a lot more attack than us, so she's pretty cool. And I don't think we need to su support each other so far, we could just uh, attack and probably could finish this two cute bat as soon as possible. Oh, and we both gain. Oh, we both didn't gain any XP, but it's pretty cool, and we got some peer from them. Well, we still have a long way to go and on this way we can do some gathering and you can see if we have partners inside while we were doing the gathering, they will also help us gathering. And uh, the thing about this game which is interesting is its time movement. So the time only moves when we're doing the gathering or synergize. You can see when we're just running around the town, it actually don't cost any time. And we can almost spend an infinite amount of time just running around in this beautiful flowery forest. And on our way, we're traveling around this giant underground with passages and uh, some interesting stuff to collect, such as soft stones, iron mixed stones. Wow, this underground definitely looks a little bit dangerous, but I think we'll be okay. I wonder, can we jump over the bridge? Probably not a good idea. Well, so far so good, and it's pretty interesting that we can meet a lot of uh, interesting areas on our way through the world map. And I think we should be able to um, save while we are in the world map, which is a pretty convenient thing to do if uh, if otherwise uh, if we can only save during the town, then it's, been, it's going to be a long way before we can enter our next save point. Yay, we're finally at our destination. It looks so beautiful. There's so many beautiful bridges and it seems to be a big town compared to what we have encountered so far. And Regina is going to depart and deliver her stuff. Oh no, we're going to miss you, Regina. And then we're going to visit the person who might know the glowing flower. Well, after Regina left us, here's the Milky's time to wander around in the town and I'm so happy we're going to explore this new beautiful town. Unfortunately, none of the town people is willing to talk to Milky yet. And this is a social cool statue and let's definitely enter the town. I love how there's always a grand entrance when we just about to enter the town and uh, I heard this town is actually built on top of a mountain and the person we're going to leave is all the way up here so he's gonna have a long long travel in the town. Oh, I love it. Hopefully we'll meet some new characters. Wow, Miki is just wandering around the town and he's this little witch girl who says we smells of mystery. Oh, and her name is uh, Will Bill. That's so cute. And there's also a sweet scent. Is that a smell of candy? Oh, we do have some candy. Oh, we give the girl some candy and then she start eating it and she says it's so yummy. <laughs> That's so cute. And uh, I, I've never met somebody just randomly on the street asking me for candy and eat it. It's probably never gonna happen in our our real life. That's why we're living in a magical world in the in this beautiful game world. Well, the witch lady left after we gave her the candy. I have a sneaky feeling that we we'll probably will see her again, and she's probably going to be one of the really important characters. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit sad is none of the travelers would talk to us. It would be so nice if we can talk to the characters while we're walking around or even buy some items. Now we finally are going to see whoever that we're going to meet to learn more about the glowing flower. And she have a she has a cute girl that works for her. Oh, and she even has a cat on her clothes. That's so cute. I love the character designs in this game. It's just so beautiful. Everybody have their own personalities and their clothes are all nice. That's one thing I really love about the, the series. 
And we finally met Harry after a long cutscene, and uh, <laughs> he even he even does a little hand gesture in his intro animation. Then, I heard he's pretty flamboyant and pretty famous. <laughs> it's so funny, he immediately gave us an autograph while we're meeting him. Oh, well, um, he seems to be really famous and we need to ask him a question. And, <laughs> and Regina is saying if we don't want his autograph, we can just say we don't want it. No, I want it, I want it. Maybe he will get popular one day. And uh, Harry, you're familiar with weird stuff, right? Um, hopefully he will give some information about the real flower so we can find out more about our sister. Yay, lucky I Yes, even though Harry couldn't remember the flower, but he's going to do some research. Well, he's going to try to remember it and secretly do some research. Meanwhile, he's going to generously offer us his own home for us to stay. How nice! And it's a giant room too, it has some sofa and all that. Everybody in this world are just so nice and uh, wow, we get to live in everybody's house during room. the town. That's nice. And before we further explore the town and the travel more, I think this is a good point for us to stop our today's first impression video. I really enjoyed the game so far and please let me know in the comment or hit the like button if you like this game and want to see a complete let's play series for it. I'm definitely happy to do that. So far I think the gameplay is intriguing and uh, unfortunately it's a lot of cutscenes but I think we'll have more gameplay and the less cutscene once we exit the beginning area. The character design and their personality are really really amazing and the main storyline are really really interesting. If you haven't played this series before, I think this is definitely one of the most interesting simulation game titles that will be released on Switch this January 20th. If you're looking for a simulation game to play while waiting for Harvest Moon and the Animal Crossing to be released earlier this year, then this might be the game for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you guys so so much for watching. Special thanks for my awesome Patreon donors, you guys are the best. And I will see you guys next time!